Fatima says, can we apply soap, brush the teeth during ablution? We know that ablution has six pillars. What are these pillars? Number one, washing the face, which includes turning the water in your mouth and sniffing the water up your nostrils and blowing it out. Number two, washing your arms from the beginning of your uh, fingertips till your elbows, including your elbows. Number three, wiping over your head, which includes also wiping your ears. Number four, washing your feet, including the ankles, to the ankles. Number five, the sequence, the order. So face, arms, head, feet. You can't switch. Number six, to be simultaneous. We, meaning that you don't leave a gap. And the issue of le not leaving a gap is relative. So usually, brushing the teeth or using the miswak, according to the scholars, is negligible. It's a it's, it's minute amount of time, like 30 seconds or so, or maybe a minute. But opening the door or answering a phone call or checking if the food is cooked or need to be turned over or not. This breaks the simultaneousness of your wudu. And hence, you have to repeat it from scratch. Likewise, if you, for example, while washing your arms, found out that there's a barrier. So you're engaged in scrubbing it and washing it with soap, etc. That may take some time. But it is for the purpose of wudu, not for something external. So this amount is also exempted and accepted without any problem, and Allah Azza wa knows best.